It was an action-packed Saturday at the Rotenbaum Club in Hamburg as the two finalists for the German Open Tennis Championship were decided. Jürgen Meltzer was first up against Italy's Andreas Seppi, but the match everyone was getting excited about was the second semi-final, where Florian Mayer was bidding to become the first German to reach the final here for 17 years. Meltzer and Seppi headed out onto centre court for their fourth career meeting, with both players hoping to reach their first final on the ATP World Tour this year. The Austrian third seed had lost both their previous encounters on clay, but the last one of those was over 12 months ago, and Meltzer is a vastly improved player now. There was little to choose between the two early on, as both players quickly found their rhythm. But the tenth game turned out to be crucial, as the third seed upped his level at just the right time. He grabs it. Pounces at exactly the right time, Jürgen Meltzer. Third seed in control of this first semi. Takes the opening set, six games to four. Meltzer continued to stretch his opponent in the opening stages of the second set and soon landed a killer blow in the fourth game. Oh, brilliant. Just changed gear during that game. Breaks for a 3-1 lead. Just wide. Meltzer wraps up the fourth straight set victory of the week for him. The world number 15, the third seed, is through his first final of 2010, the ninth of his career. It was a very close first set. Um, I felt like the first six games he was kind of more active, the better player. I, I hang in there. Uh, and then after that, I felt like I have to do a little bit more on the return. Uh, I did that. I was successful in breaking him to 6-4 and then kind of got a little bit of momentum. Got out of a 15-4 in the first service game. And after that, I think you know, I played really good tennis. No German player has reached the final in Hamburg since tournament director Michael Stieck in 1993. And if Florian Mayer was to do so, he would have to overcome Kazakhstan's Andre Golubev. Urged on by the crowd, Mayer made an impressive start in the windy conditions as he looked to take the game to his opponent. Oh, exquisite stuff from the German. Power on the forehand. A wonderful lob to wrap up the game. At 4-2 down, it was not looking good for Golubev, but slowly he started to get used to the conditions and claw his way back into contention. Golubev then began to make all the running, and after five opportunities to close out the set at one begging, he eventually made one count. This time, he converts on his sixth set point, and that's some comeback. He was 4-2 adrift in this first set. He's adjusted to the conditions and he'll be very relieved to sit down with a one-set lead. As the second set progressed, Mayer began to look increasingly weary, as the exploits of a tough week began to take their toll on the German, allowing Golubev to capitalise with a crucial break. No, missed times the drop shot. That could be the decisive break that settles this one. And from then on, there was no way back for Mayer, as Golubev put an end to the expectant crowd's hopes of seeing a German player in the final. This time, he finishes the job. What a week for the world number 82. Moves into his first final of 2010 just the second final of his career and easily the biggest he's into the final of an ATP 500 gets the job done 7-6 6-4